Today I want to do a quick video on the Embark DNA test. Um, this is this is Bear, my high content wolf dogs. This is his test that we got, and um, these are just some of the things it shows on here. Um, these are predicted weights, a wolfiness score. I'm not sure exactly what that means. It says right here that bear is 95% gray wolf. Um, Embark is supposed to have a variation, well, a um, margin of error of 5%. So he's round to 90 to 95% wolf, which is definitely what you would call a high content wolf dog. And we'll poke around on here a little bit and I'll kind of show you about um, different stuff like um, what his predicted colors and height and weight will be. Um, also, the health test um, was very important. Looking for uh, genetic variants that could, you know, cause problems for your dog later on in the future. Um, osteogenesis imperfecto was the big one with us, um, and it was a life. A life-saving decision we made to see that he didn't have it and we went through the surgery because we had this Embark DNA test done. Had he actually had this condition we would have had to put him down because he would have just been just lived a miserable life. His bones would have been all crooked and not constantly breaking and he would just be basically paraplegic. So, you know, we were so lucky he didn't have this, and we were so lucky that we had already done this Embark DNA test. Nearly all reputable wolf dog breeders will offer this test of the parents. Uh, misrepping, misrepping wolf dogs is very, very common, so you, when you get one, if you don't know the breeder personally, ask for this test of both parents if they don't offer it to you right away. Um, this is also very important. Uh, this is his inbreeding coefficiency or COI, which you can see bears is very low, which means he's genetically very healthy as far as any inbreeding would go. If you like this video, and want to learn more about wolves, wolf dogs, and dogs, please hit the like button and subscribe.